Let's wrap up section 3.2. Here are the key ideas from the simulation-based method for creating a confidence interval for a single proportion. The formula is to take our sample proportion, p hat, and then add and subtract 2 times the standard deviation of p hat. Recall that the standard deviation of p hat is the spread of the sample statistics from many, many samples. We can obtain this value through simulation from our null hypothesized distribution, which assumes the null is true. And really, we should use a null distribution where pi is equal to 0.5 to give us the largest or most conservative standard deviation we could obtain. Also recall that this 2SD interval only works for a 95% confidence interval. If we want to use a theoretical approach to creating a confidence interval for a single proportion, we need to first check the validity conditions, that there are 10 successes and 10 failures in our data. If that is met, then our sample size is large enough for the central limit theorem to work for our data, and therefore we can use the normal distribution to find a confidence interval using the formula p hat plus and minus some multiplier times the square root of p hat times one minus p hat over n. The multiplier is determined by the confidence level, and your three common multipliers are given in this table. The square root of p hat times one minus p hat over n is what we call the standard error of the sample proportions, or the estimated standard deviation of the sample proportions. Finally, the second half of this formula, the multiplier times the square root of p hat times one minus p hat over n, is what we call margin of error, and it determines the width of our interval. In fact, the width of a confidence interval is two margin of errors, because we have added our margin of error and subtracted it from our sample proportion. Three parts. The level of confidence, 90, 95, 99%. The actual value of the interval that you created, the lower and upper endpoints. And what is a confidence interval used to estimate? We're trying to estimate the parameter of interest. So what that parameter is, in words, should be included as well.